and welcome back to NOLA Motorsports Park in Avondale. This is Prep Recruiting inside of PRI, and I'm your host, Rick Gailey, the coach of PRI, along with Renee Nato, the insider of Prep Recruiting Insider. And we have two outstanding Destrahan Fighting Wildcat athletes. To your right on your television screen is Glenn Logan, a defensive tackle, and to your left, Tyler Addison, a wide receiver, both of them seniors, both of them with outstanding futures ahead. Gentlemen, thank you for being here today with us on PRI. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, I'll start with you, Glenn. Not that it means anything, but out of my top 40 in the metro area, you are my number one guy. I mean, you're, the, I think, the top recruit. You've already decided, if it's over with, that you want to go to LSU. First of all, why LSU, and what other schools were in the mix? Uh, LSU because... Like, it's a good school, and I'm close to home around my family and stuff. And I just, I like the atmosphere that LSU brings. And I love the coaches, so. Coach yeah. O. Yeah, Coach O, he's a very okay. great guy. And what other, what other schools, Glenn, did you consider? Uh, Miami and Texas a &M. Okay, okay. And he wants you to play defensive end in college. Yes, sir. Okay, and you got some pretty good foot speed. Tyler, you are a unbelievable academic guy. Uh, you're a wide receiver right now. You want to continue to play football on the next level. You're looking at some Ivy League schools. That's yes, interesting. Sir. What are some of the schools you're considering right now? Um, UPenn, um, Cornell, Columbia, and Kent State, and ULM. Okay. Oh, that's an, inter that's an interesting mix <laughs> yeah. uh, right there, as a matter of fact. But uh, Tyler, you've, you've had an interesting mix of high schools uh, as well. Uh, this is your first year at Destrahan, moving in uh, a legal move, a bona fide move uh, into, into St. Charles Parish. Uh, you were at Newman High School in Uptown New Orleans. Talk about the differences uh, between Uptown New Orleans and being out in St. Charles Parish. Well, um, in Uptown, you know, there's a lot going on. You're in the middle of the city, so there's always something to do, and everybody's all spread out, and you know, but in St. Charles, it's more of a tight-knit, close family bond. How it is at Destrehan's, everyone's close together. You know everybody. You go to the store and stuff, oh, you go to Destrehan, you play football, stuff like that. So it's different, but good. Right. Both of them are very unique uh, institutions, a community school, uh, Destrehan, as opposed uh, to Newman, but uh, two wonderful programs. Uh, Glenn, tell us uh, what your plans are in the, in the future. I'm, I'm assuming that uh, NFL perhaps is, is one, of, one of your dreams. What, uh, what are you going to have to do to be able to get from where you are now to, uh, to that particular dream? Um, I'm just going to have to be able to focus on school and first study hard and then improve myself as a player. Like just clean up some of the things that I have that I'd be messing up on during the field and just keep working hard, get stronger, get faster. Bigger, stronger, faster, smarter. Pretty good combination. Yes, sir. Now, Glenn, you, you are a dominating type player, very intense, use your hands very well, and you, and you play like a smaller lineman, if that makes sense. So you move pretty yeah. quickly. The thing that Coach Robichaux told me, and watching you, you diagnose a play pretty quick. You read a play pretty quick. Yes, uh, does that come from Film study, is that just an innate situation, you know, with you? Is that something that comes naturally to you or what? Uh, that's something I just do on my own. Like, I just, I watch film and then I, and when we have practice, I make sure I watch how everything's going. And I train my eyes to read things faster. So when I do, when I do have to make that move, it's easier. Uh, Tyler, with you, as a wide receiver, um, you, you know, you know, academics certainly plays a big part in being a football player because as you recognize things, you see things, and, and you maybe see things a little quicker, uh, it certainly helps you. So having an academic background certainly helps you as a player. Yeah. Um, you know, it's always about reading coverages, reacting, changing up your right depending on how your defender's playing you. So, you know, being able to focus on that and think quick is, it helps a lot. And we're going to talk about uh, some intelligence right now. We had Jarvis Green on last week, who uh, was from Donaldsonville High School, played with the New England Patriots for nine years. And he talked about how they would change the, the game plan completely defensively from one week to the other. You couldn't, 
you know, you had to be smart to play for the New England Patriots. Now, Tyler, you've had a transition from one spread system to another spread system. How much did that language change, and was it, was it a challenge to, uh, to, to learn the Destrahan system quickly? It, it didn't take too long. Um, most of the same route concepts were the same. It was just different names and different formations that I had to get down. But, um, you know, Coach Bourne is a real great coach. Coach DJ, our wide receiver coach, is a great coach. He helped us and helped me, um, you know, make the transition easier. You know, I would shoot him text sometimes when I had questions about stuff, but getting into the swing of things and actually getting on the field and playing made everything easier. And Glenn, we talked about the things uh, that you have to be able to work on, and one of the, th the plans that you have to be able to make is life after football, because it's, it's not a lifetime sport, is it? It goes by yes. too quickly. When you finish football, what do you want to do the rest of your life? Uh, I just want to go finish college and get a degree in electrical engineering. Excellent, excellent. That, uh, that'll give you a chance to take care of yourself from beginning to end, won't it? Yes, sir. Real th th last 30 seconds, Glenn, your favorite player. Is there a player you model yourself after? Uh, Cameron Wake and J.J. Watt. That's my favorite, too. Okay, and, and Tyler, same thing. Any, any player you, you really watch? Des Bryant and Amari Cooper. Okay. Well, that's some... Excellent examples and some fine young men from Destrahan. Glenn Logan and Tyler Addison, two terrific fighting Wildcats getting ready for the Terrebonne Tigers this week. This is Prep Recruiting Insider here at NOLA Motorsports Park where we have the carding shed right across the way. Come here, arrive, and drive. We will be back after this break with two more great athletes.